In this video, I'm going to show you how to make balloon text just like this. One of the really great things about Photoshop is the ability to do cool text tricks. Now, in this case, we're going to make balloon letters. So we're going to start off with a blank canvas and I'm actually going to use a proper text that I think will work well with this, which in this case is Arial rounded. I'm just going to put in the word balloon and then I'm going to resize this to make it nice and big. Now in the example that we had, we could see that the letters were kind of bouncy up and down here. You can see the A's higher and the L's lower and things like that. So I'm going to show you how we do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to select the A and I'm going to come to my character palette here and I'm just going to change the baseline here and put in something like, oh, I don't know, let's say 60. And then we'll come to the L here and maybe we'll go down to 20. Okay, and maybe for this O, we'll go down to zero. And for the N, we'll go down to zero as well. Or maybe we'll bring it up just a little bit. Okay, and that kind of gives it that kind of floating balloon look to it. And then once we have this out here, now, the way that we make this into kind of a balloon shape is actually quite complex and actually takes a lot of steps. But what we've got is we've actually got Photoshop actions that'll do all of this at the click of a button, which is actually what we want to do here to make it nice and easy. Now, don't worry if you don't have this action. I'm going to show you how to get this completely for free at the end of this video. But for now, we're just going to press the balloons button and you're going to see that it's going to automatically do all the work for us. All we have to do is hit continue. You can see it starts to do its thing. It's going to tell you here that you need to use the hue slider to pick your color. So we're going to hit continue. And then here we can actually choose what color we want. So if we wanted this to be green or blue or red or purple, whatever it happens to be. And don't worry, we're going to show you how to change each letter afterwards. We're just going to pick green for now. I'm going to hit OK. And you'll see it's going to continue to go through its job and then it's done. So now you've got these great balloon letters here. Now, how do we get each letter to be a different color? Well, all we have to do for that is choose our selection tool here, and we're just going to pick a letter just like this. And we're just going to go in and go to image adjustments and go to hue and saturation. And we're going to change this to whatever color we want to use. So we purples, we got reds, we got blues. So whatever color we think fits for this particular one here, maybe we'll go with a nice Oh, let's go with the purple. Why not hit OK? And then we just choose the next letter and do the same thing. Go to image adjustments, hue and saturation. OK, now maybe we'll go and we'll get a nice blue color, maybe uh, something like this. And you can mess with the saturation here as well. So if you want it to be a brighter blue, you can do that. If you want it to be duller. OK. You can also change the lightness. So if you wanted it to be lighter or darker, okay. We'll go with a blue like that and just continue to do this down the line here. And there we go, we now have our balloon letters. Now, as I mentioned in the video, we used an action for Photoshop. We've actually got a collection of 15 Photoshop text actions that you can download right now, completely free of charge, along with some fun fonts that you can use with all of these actions. Simply click the button to begin the download process right away. Walking down the sidewalk, kicking my feet as I move. 